What's up everyone, it's your boy NoranRad89 here bringing another ranking video today. Today we're going to be ranking all the Monster Universe films that are currently out because we have Godzilla vs. Kong coming out in March. So we're going to stop and rank all the ones that we have so far. This is just my list. I would love to hear from all of you in the comments section. Share your list, Kong or Godzilla, whose side are you on for the movie coming up? Let's get down to this ranking. Roll it. So we currently have three Monster Universe films out right now. So coming in at number three for my list is going to be Kong Skull Island. This is probably my favorite take of the King Kong story since the 1976 one with Jeff Bridges and Jessica Lange. That's not the original one, but that's like the one I know of. That's the one I grew up on the most. And this is, I think, is the best take since then. Samuel Jackson's in this movie. We got Brie Larson, Tom Hiddleston, John C. Riley. So there's a great cast. They got some really good dialogue in this film, and I think they really deliver on the dialogue and everything. But still, for me, the CGI and the action scenes in this one weren't as... They didn't grab me, and they didn't look as cool, or I think look as good as they did blending with like real effects and everything compared to the Godzilla films. But like I said, this is my favorite Kong storyline since the 1976 one. It's got a really good aesthetic, too, like with the tribe and just the period piece film, the way they designed it. So it's got a lot of cool set designs and stuff like that. So I did enjoy that. But like I said, I'm definitely more of a Godzilla fan. As you can see, I got my Godzilla shirt on, So and this isn't my only one. So it's just a really good film. Still like a 7 out of 10 for me. I would still watch it and re-watch it and everything, but it's not going to meet up to the Godzilla films for me. So coming in at number 3, Kong Skull Island. Number 2 is going to be Godzilla King of Monsters. This was the sequel to the Godzilla reboot that came out in 2000, I think 14 or 15. This was the 2019 one, and this one was really cool. We got an introduction of a lot of old school monsters from back in the Godzilla day, like Mothra, King Ghadira is in this movie too, Rodan. So there's a lot of good iconic monsters. The fight scenes are really well lit and really good and like cinematography wise the way they're shot and like a lot of people complained about that first Godzilla film that it was kind of too dark you didn't really get to see a lot of the film and everything but this one they're very well lit the action scenes are very like nice and crisp looking and everything for me this one just is number two because the story it feels a little choppy I like the actors in it and everything and the actresses but it's just the story it feels a little choppy it's a little more out of place compared to the first Godzilla film so that's why Godzilla King of Monsters is sitting here at this number two spot I do rewatch this one and I have really enjoyed it when I saw it in theaters it's still one of those like really epic great monster fight movies that you're gonna really love seeing in the theaters like I said I'll never forget it for sure but Godzilla King of Monsters sitting here at number two Coming in at number one is going to be the Godzilla reboot that came out in 2015. This is definitely an amazing film. I really, really dug this film. I really like Brian Cranston in this movie, and I like I don't mind the time jump that they have in this movie. It's kind of cool showing you the origin, kind of a little backstory on his character in the beginning with the mutos and like him having to lock down his wife in the like nuclear reactor thing when it's about to go off and everything. So it's got a really cool like family heart to it. A good story that grabs you and then we fast forward to later and we get to our present time and everything and I think this one's really good because the way they did the Godzilla film it's like that old school black and white Japanese like Gojira film it still made me feel like kind of terrified of Godzilla and the way they lit him it was cool because it was like very dark and it was like we got a we got a chance to see a little bit, but we still wanted more. You know, they didn't show us everything, everything. So it was really cool because we knew we were gonna get, or I was, I knew we were gonna get a sequel for sure. So it was like they were just kind of like teasing us, like, oh, we know you like Godzilla. We're gonna show you just a little bit, you know, tease you, get you wanting more and everything. And then we finally got the sequel. So. But this film, I think, like at the heart of it, has a better cohesive story. And some of the cinematography in this film is just epic. Like that shot when the paratroopers are jumping out of the plane with the red smoke just going into the city and everything. Like there's just some really good epic shots in this film. And like this one I was most connected with and I think has the best story. So that's why it's sitting here at this number one spot. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this ranking. Thanks for hanging out with me. Share your list down below, as I said, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Stay up to date on all the content I put out. As I said, whose side are you on, Godzilla or Kong? The movie comes out in March, so it's right around the corner. I can't wait. I'm excited. I hope it's the Smash Mouth epic Titan battle that we all want it to be. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. You have a safe and happy day. Peace out.